All right, all right, all right. Leo, what it be, yo? It is me, it is Shira, it is Beaver, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again, back, back at it again. Yes, baby. To let you guys know what the current love energies are surrounding you. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you see this video is when you need to receive its energy, okay? I want to give a shout out to all my OGs. A shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of my babies who've liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video. Um, I want to uh, let you guys know I just got finished recording your inner self guidance message so if you guys did not see that video go ahead and check that video out so to give you guys a little boost of confidence along the way um like i said we're going to tap into love before we tap into love we want to give god thanks so bow your head with me real quick we're going to give a quick prayer Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here collectively for the sign of Leo. We are here to find out what the current love energies are for the sign of Leo. You already know what it be with us, Father God. We want to continue to stay in the presence of love for everybody that's in current love situation. We want to uh, pray over these people in relationships so that their love can continue to blossom and flourish. And for the people that are single and looking for new love, Father God, please give us the guidance that we need to receive so that we can attract the highest, most potent and powerful love ever of all time jesus so in jesus name we pray and we say to you amen amen and amen all right let's get it so leo let's get into love let's get into love all right Ciao. i don't know what the heck type of singing note that was that was horrible okay child bye that was horrible Okay. Let's see what got going on in love. Let's make it good. Let's make it juicy. Let's make it hot. It's okay. Come on. Let's make it good. What we got going on in love? Ooh. Oh, you got the sunglasses. Okay, now. Now, we said we was going to make it juicy. We was going to make it hot. Who's over there looking at you, Leo? Leo, what it be? Yo, somebody's looking at you. Looky, looky, somebody got a new cookie. Somebody got a new little, uh, hot little tenderoni that they spying with they naked eye. Who you spying with your naked eye? Who's you looking at? Who looking at you? Who's looking at Leo? Tell us what's going on in love. Thank you so much. Tell us what's going on in love. We got talking. And we got the cards, the hand of cards. Okay, what is going on with all of this noise? Sending me all this goddamn messages. Okay, so I don't know, like that might be y'all phone too. Keep going on, brutal, brutal, brutal. Like someone is like on you big time, okay? So you could be talking to someone that you're not necessarily letting them know, like, you know, what you're planning on doing with them just yet. Like you're still kind of filling them out. I feel like this is you. Checking this person out, Leo. I feel like someone is definitely letting their intentions be known. It could be like very late night passionate conversations. Mm hmm. Could be checking each other's profile out constantly. Well, I'm feeling like right after you guys get off of the phone or finish texting or as you're like texting, texting each other in the inbox or something, it's like. As this person is sending you messages, like you're going down their picture profile, you're going down their timeline, you just like, you know, trying to see what type of person this is from what you see online type of thing. Definitely someone that you met online. And I feel like it's because of someone that you met online, you might not necessarily be letting them know all of what's going on in your head about them currently. Interesting. Uh-uh, y'all is not about to have me go pick up an unnecessary book. Nope. Because mm -mm. y'all trying to tell, listen, nope, I'm not even going to do it. Nope. Okay. What's all of this that just popped out? Jesus Christ, what the fuck? What the hell? I feel like this someone just got over a divorce. I'm going to put this back, but I feel like Leo or whoever this is, is is checking this person's profile to see if they just got out of a relationship recently. Like, trying to avoid 
unnecessary toxic people like have you just recently got out of a, a relationship do you have any like triggering shit on your page do you be making any ignorant toxic statements or something like that are you just like emotionally unavailable emotionally immature like a manipulative type of thing like this person is like really going down your memes and seeing like do you be posting like, even though it's it's like meant to be funny but this person is trying to see, like, yeah, what's funny to you? Do you think, like, them little toxic ass breakup memes or side bitch memes or work husband memes? Like, do you think that type of shit is funny? Because it's like they're really trying to understand the personality of the individual is what I'm seeing here. So let's see what we got. Jesus. Okay. You got the justice card. All right. Speak the truth and let the truth set you free. You got the hermit. Then the reverse, okay. And you got the two of swords. Whoa. What the fuck is going on, Leo? Okay, I'm about to do another spread for you, too. Jesus, I ain't never did this for no... You know what? <laughs> Leo was literally saying, I asked you to go get the fortune teller cards, but you said no. So now I'm about... <laughs> another situation right here where I feel like it's someone a bit maybe coming out of hiding I feel like you may be looking into what the fuck is going on with them too I feel like you're not letting nobody know ultimately where they're at in your life their place of advancement like if you're number one number two number three if you're even on the roster like, I'm just taking applications right now. Like, I'm just, I'm, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just stepping outside. Like, yeah, I'm not, um, mm-mm. No, mm -mm, I'm not letting anybody know. Like, we just, we, we just gonna go back and forth a little bit. Let me see if, like, not to say, like, I, I wanna see it's like, I want to see what your argument is if you just looking for a nut. If you're a confrontational type of person. Like, all of that. It's like, Leo is... Well, I feel like Leo is, like, very skeptical of... I feel like Leo is really trying to avoid uh, disasters. So they're trying to make wise decisions. They're going off of their inner gut, their inner mind. Not what people look like. Not what their booty shape like. They don't give a fuck with their head hitting on. Like, none of that stuff. It's like, I want to see where you really fit in. So, there's going to be a lot of back and forth. Um... Before anyone receives a nut from Leo. I'm, I'm letting you know that right now. Um, Leo's not hiding. They're definitely out. Very clear on what they want. It's, it's like something happened in Leo's life. Where it's like. Leo is very balanced. And they know what they're seeking. I don't even think that they're going out looking for it. I think that it's more so. Like hopping up in your inbox. And it's like okay. Well, I'm going to research you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I need to see what kind of cards I'm dealing with here. I need to, I need to know how to play my hand. So, okay, let's spread it. We're going to keep it we gonna keep it a book. And we're going to keep it moving. All right. So, let's see. We got the Ace of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords. The ten, Okay. And the Princess of Wands. Okay. Okay, I'm reloaded. So, definitely have a new beginning. You, you're receiving a new offering. But it's like you're sick about it. It's like you're sick about it in some type of like pessimistic mindset or thinking. I'm kind of getting like a worry, a worry wart energy. 
Like y'all might need to go back and look at that inner guided message because it was a little bit of that. It's like mental self torture. <laughs> and don't click off the video because just listen to what I'm about to say. Because it's like over critical criticalizing. Is that right? Am I saying that right? Over criti criti criticizing. Over criticizing a situation so much where it's like you, you're not able to enjoy it. So it's like instead of okay let's say like God is gifting you a new car. Say you needed a new car right? Let's say God gave you a Tesla. Someone gave you a Tesla. And it's like instead of you going and hopping in your new car and enjoying the new car smell it's like you would sit there and go read all of the negative remarks, all of the negative comments, what everybody else has to say. A lot of these motherfuckers probably don't even have a Tesla, probably can't even afford a Tesla. And it's like, before you even get in the car and enjoy it, it's like mentally you're being trapped in fear by the thoughts of what could happen instead of just knowing that you're in control and if you don't want to drive with the self-driving mechanism of the car you don't have to like you can like manually drive the car like it's not just going to take control <laughs> by itself and crash you into a freaking bridge you know what I'm saying and, like I feel like that's what this person is doing instead of just enjoying the gift and it's like what God is, it's like you're, you're almost making yourself sick with worry. When it's like, this is what God is giving you. You got the Ten of Cups. Like, you wanted a new car. You got the state-of-the-art vehicle. One that will keep you safe. It's like, honestly, the Tesla has so many different safety aspects to it. it it's probably one of the most safest vehicles known to man right now you know it's like it wouldn't have it wouldn't be on the market like they they tested it tested it tested it tested it tested the tesla like don't worry yourself sick it's like your own thoughts and your own it's like you're doing it to yourself and it's like someone talking to you is like don't worry about that. Like it's, it's like everything is going to be fine. And you're like, no, but I read this online and it said this. You need to stop reading. Um, uh, what is it? The um, where people be sick and they be reading up the um, what is it? Uh, wet med or whatever the hell it is. It's like you, you need to stop reading that shit. The Princess of Wands is like again something new you're being invited to experience life in a new way please go out and enjoy it like you're very talented and you're very creative and i feel like whoever these people whatever this lifestyle whatever this is is very gifted to have you Please do not allow negative thinking to destroy you receiving an opportunity of a lifetime. You have so much, so much to come out of this. So many years of happiness. But if you allow your critical thinking, you know, to... Getting away where you're not even enjoying it and you and you won't even allow yourself to experience it. It's like it's going to be your own doing. Because it's someone that you're talking to right now that is that Ten of Cups energy. It's that Ten of Cups and this person is extremely interested in you. They're... Like, they're literally telling you, like, they want marriage, they want commitment. Like, they're not lying to you. Like, you really have it right there. And you have an open line of communication to this person. 
but again it's like you're looking for you're looking for the bad shit it's like almost like someone looking for a reason to turn this blessing away and it's like you could be talking to someone about some shit that you've seen online and this shit could be like some past tense shit that it is not even active not even something that you actively have to worry about. Well, this person said this eight years ago and I love the LGBT community. Like, this person, how old were they when they said this shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't just... Uh. So, again, it's like, uh, with this hand of cards, it's like, where it's like, um... I feel like you don't really know what to do with this hand that you're dealt with yet. You don't know what to do with the experience because it's like something about taking a risk and you don't want to expose how many books you have or, or you know what I'm saying? It's like you're trying to keep a poker face on and still be a part of the game. What the fuck are you so worried about, bro? That shit is bothering me. And it says insane chemistry. Liking each other equally. Having fun. And it's like you... Like you have this right now. What the fuck? Why are you looking for something bad? Like that's what, that's what I'm not understanding. And it's like, but you, 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 you stay and you entertain and you talk to this person. But it's like you... It's like you worry too much. You don't worry yourself to death. You going to like? Okay, let me hold on. Sure. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm mm. All right. Tell me what else is going on in love. Got somebody loyal. And you got okay. You got the garden and you got the dog. I like this. So like this is a a very active friendship. I feel like you're going to be dating. You're going to be going out, get to know each other. I feel like there's going to be a lot of social gatherings, a lot of social outings. I feel like the more time that you spend with this person, the more you're going to like talking to this person. The more you're going to not be able to see yourself without them. Stop, uh, stop worrying. Like if this person, well, I feel like this person offers you to go out or something and, you, and it's like you'd be like, eh. it's like you don't know if you want to go out or not. Please go. Go and have fun. Like you're going to have fun. You're going to see just how much this person really enjoys their, their time with you. Like honestly, let me get one more card. Yeah, you got the cross. So again, it's like, this is also free will. But it's your fate to bear. It's like, you could be, in, in, in this cross, I'm going to put this right here between the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Cups. It's like, it's up to you. Do you want to sit here and, and worry? And when it's something that you're praying for, you sit up there and victimize yourself with negative thoughts where you chase it away but again it's your own creation you have free will or do you want to look at it being the blessing that you prayed for and you accept it come on now you heard that and receive it or do you want to worry and block your blessing it's up to you it's a choice and it's about what you focus or what you spend your energy on. If you spend your energy constantly looking for negative shit to reject it and throw it away, that's what you won't get. And it's, it's, it's the fate that you created for yourself. It's the, it's the way that you decided to play your cards. If you want to accept this person, see their generosity and loyalty, 
and not look at it so much as a risk and look at it as a blessing and see what it succumbs to, you're going to get the fate of that. And the fate of that looks like something very beautiful. Very beautiful. It looks like a very active, very healthy, very honorable lifestyle and relationship. Something that can result in marriage and can last a lifetime. So it's it's up to you. You know. I I if, you know. let's see. I feel like autumn time and this is about to be autumn I feel like autumn is very important because it's like a, a harvest season because uh, I'm, I'm kind of like feeling like pumpkins um, apple cider like like a, a festive season or something like that I'm seeing like a city like a fair or a festival or something it's some type of like harvest festival or um seasonal festival I see people like I'm seeing people skipping around like music people spending money I'm seeing like rides and, and things like that but it's something of interest to you why well, I'm seeing something like animals I'm seeing pigs well I'm seeing a little piggy race <laughs> I'm seeing a piggy race and fair food I'm really saying that, but it's like someone has an interest in the, these type of things. I really do feel like I just heard a harvest fall fest, a harvest fall fest. And I'm seeing all of this crazy ass fair food. Oh my God. Oh, I'm seeing like a really big ass cookie. Oh, like. I feel like you're going to find someone that you really like around this time. And you guys have the same interest because you guys met each other around the Harvest Fall Fest. And like you really like going. You like going to these type of things. <laughs> like I'm serious. Like, like you're going to find some type of friend that um you guys like to go to like little festivals and stuff like that. Especially like things that have something to do with like food and music. Like you really like food and music. You got the hangs, man. I love that. Oh, God. Okay. I just heard how you shortchanging yourself a little bit. Because it's like someone's being left with nothing. When it's like... You can avoid conflict, honestly. Why well, I'm hearing the word conflictational. I don't even know if that's the right way you should say something. Like, it's something about, and I just heard a know-it-all. Because you see how that person got all them swords? It's like avoid being unnecessary confrontational. Did I say conflictational? Confrontational. It's like your wording. And it's like it's like your wording. Because it's like I feel like it's like certain people just be trying to have fun and spend a good time with you, but it's like Something about like always trying to feel like you're a know-it-all or trying to outsmart people or it's like a battle of wits or battle with words. It's like it takes all of the fun out of everything. So again, it's like it's like someone not wanting to argue with you or somebody not wanting to be at odds or have such a serious conversation. It's like I'm not trying to be in a competition or something like that, you know, and I feel 
like from the outside looking in it's like you you, you had to see this about yourself because i feel like you be doing this shit to people because remember it's like as i'm saying it's like you be looking for shit to find something wrong it's like to find people's imperfections to bring it up and test them about it or some shit like that. Like, that's kind of what the fuck I'm getting. And I'm sorry, I just heard it's like, then you wonder is why you're by yourself. Like, okay, so if there's somebody that wants to know why you've been single for so long, because do you see, like, like this person has been hanging up there so long where there's, like, literal, literal foliage and growth growing around them. Like, you've been... Put on reserve that fucking long. And it's not reserve. It's like God is putting you up there to for to reserve you for somebody special. No, it's so that you can see everybody else outside of you getting what you should be getting. You know what I'm saying? But it's like you have to see your actions. It's like because when I, it's like when I put you in a situation. So that you can be forward and fashion forward and, you know, whatever. It's like you go to playing these mind games or tricks or you, you try to like and, and, and enforce or empower yourself. I, I don't know what the fuck that shit is. It's like you look for something to go wrong. But it's like you don't even see yourself doing it. And it's like I want to send good people to you. But... I don't want you to block your blessings. But I feel like someone talk people away. It's like. Because it's like you. you it, it, it's something about this five of swords and this five of wands. It's like you're saying something that is shooting you in your own foot. It's like you almost got the arrow directed at yourself. And it's like you're not you're not hurting anybody but yourself, because it's like you you think you 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 outsmarting somebody or it's like yeah well, like someone bringing up some shit from a long time ago. That leads on to the fact that you looked into them, and it's like this person just like it's like what like, how the fuck did you even know that or like. You really making a judgment off of some shit that I said. But it's like you you think you're being smart or you think you're being. I don't know. But it's like this person just walks away because it's just like, damn, like. I see why you're by yourself. Like, what the fuck would make you want to go? <laughs> I. God, it's like, what am I trying to say? Cause remember, it's like I'm saying, it's like you, you. It's like someone is looking at very critical things that uh, were said in the past or reviews. It's like someone's like looking up like some reviews, but they're looking at all of the negative comments first, and then like they're forming an opinion on that. It's like it's like I almost want to say it's like um. Some type of hurtful criticism where it's like, it's like people, it's like they walk away from you because it's like they don't want to be combative or forced to respond. But it's like the person who is doing this is, it's like they think that they won, but you didn't won. It's because all of the shit that you got, don't nobody want it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, don't nobody even want to be in this competition, this battle, or even try to get any straightening or understanding with you. It's like someone is being left by yourself. And it's like, if you wonder why you're being left by yourself for so long, that's why. It's like someone is pushing people away. And that's why it's like, God is like, you have a friend or you, you're talking to someone that y'all have the same interests. Like, this could be everything that you want to do and everything that you want to do it with. But I need you to see yourself. 
like you can get down from here like you don't have to be alone but you have to want to be someone that people want to build a connection and a friendship with you know what i'm saying like i don't know because like why i feel it's like someone felt like an invasion of privacy almost like um and again i keep here it's like someone talk too much someone thinking they know everything it's like making some type of judgment and it's like you don't even know what you're talking about you're just going off of what you perceive or something anyway let's get um last messages here we have Oh God. Okay. So okay. So this says it says if you're waiting for a sign, well here it is. It says you're on the same team. Do you really need a card for this? So again, it's it like I was saying, it's like you guys are supposed to be getting together, getting to know each other, um, being nice and treating each other well. But it's like you're looking into the, you're looking in my history, you're bringing up, it's like, I don't know. It's like, am, are you my friend or are you my enemy? Are you trying to be my friend or are you trying to? Like push me away type of thing like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that this Leo, whoever it is that's dating this Leo or something. I don't think that this person realized that they do this to people. Um. Yeah. So it says, what the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. Play like it. Have sex. So it's like. You want to have sex. You want, you know. I feel like it's feel like it's someone that wants to get laid. They want to have sex. So it's like you got to play like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do shit that is shooting yourself in the foot. Where it's like people walking away from you. And it's like, like look, it's like they don't want to. And it's, and it's not that they're competing with other people. It's like they don't want to go on back and forth with you. It's like, yeah, whatever the fuck you talking about, you can't have that shit. Like, I don't even want to express my opinion. Or, and again, because of Five of Wands, it's like where someone can have a disagreement with something. In the reverse, it's like, okay, but I'm willing to work together to get some type of understanding so that we can understand each other. Because even though we're different, we have a lot to bring to the table um, to each other. So, like... Let's not fight. Let's let's work together and get along. But the five of swords in the upright is somebody that is so hell bent on being correct. Looking like they won. That it's like the other person is like avoiding the compromise. It's like, you know what? I'm good. So it's like if you if you want a public relationship, if you want a committed friend, if you want to like outwardly date and like because th this is like someone that wants to be seen with you someone that wants to explore with you someone that's committed to you as a loyal dedicated friend um because right now i feel like someone's alone and they're alone for a reason and it's your your own doing if you want to have sex what are you waiting for get that shit done play like it act like it like treat people nicer like Understand the energy that you're putting out so that you can't get laid. So if, if you're trying to get laid, you guys are on the same team, right? You don't want to come off like you're fighting with them or you're trying to be in a battle of wits or whatever the fuck that shit is. I don't know, but I don't like it. And I don't think that anybody else likes it neither. So, like... I feel like someone here is a victim of their own abuse. It's like you're a victim of your own doing. Someone is being kept to their self 
until they realize, until they on the outside looking in of how people feel when you do that. And why you're being left alone for so long. Look at all of that. The vines are like literally creeping. You've been by yourself that long. Pay attention. All right. And, I, and I'm sorry because I feel like this ended up being kind of like a, I mean, not a scolding, but it's like a, look, everybody got free will. Have you going to change? You got to decide what you want. Ever you going to take the message harshly like someone is trying to say something to harm me, which I'm not. I'm not. But it's like, do you want happiness and do you want a healthy relationship or do you want to continue to push people away and put fears in front of faith? Like instead of you experiencing it, it's like you, you're, you're putting fear in front of faith and you shouldn't do that because you have free will. And if you put fear in front of faith, God won't let you. All right. So Leo, this is y'all reading. I love you. I see y'all next time. Peace.